Walking down the street, I got the funniest thing. Is there anybody out there? Well, I see one person came up. Dave Donkey, what about you? <laughs> How are you? Joshua, how are you? Nice to see you here. I thought nobody was coming there. I was starting to panic. <laughs> well, we're up to seven now. That's great. Nick, nice to see you. I'm going well. I'll let a few more get in here. Well, now that I know Jason, lovely to see you. How's parties? Paddy's Day? <laughs> um, I really don't celebrate it anymore, to be honest with you. I don't drink, so I, I tend not to celebrate it. In fact, I was out today with my grandchildren, so I really didn't celebrate it. I had a nice day with two, two of the, the older boys. Fourteen of you. How great is that? Super. Well, has anybody got... Have you all brought plenty of topics you want to talk about? Or questions you want to ask? These are all very quiet. Evening, Paul. How are you doing? Sixteen people. Isn't that just great? Nasty renegade. Our John. How are you? Good evening, John. Are you keeping well, sir? Slick Slicers, how are you Eric, you keep them well sir, lovely to see you, Jason, lovely to see you, Paddy's the LOL, stupid autocorrect, <laughs> Cabin Man, there's a name I don't really know, Cabin Man, are you a subscriber on the channel, it's great to see you whoever you are, but uh, I don't remember that name, strange that now. Well, I may as well get started with 16. That's plenty of us to have a wee chat. Did any of you bring any questions? Do you want to get questions out of the way or do you want to just uh, me to chitter on for a wee while? No drink for me, LOL. Boy racer nearly wiped me out 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Sarah Yee, nice to see you. Hello, Paddy. Hello, John. How are you, Keaton? Dave, you're too old to be driving anyway. You need to hand that license in. Now, what have I got in front of me there? I've got a bunch of um, FRN handled knives. Um, yes, I knew the Instagram, but not knives with a knife community. Great to see you. Absolutely great to see you. And welcome to the channel, Cabin Man. Um, well, what we're doing tonight is just, this is my first proper live. I done one last week just to see if I could do it. So this is the, the first proper one. And this week, I don't know if you've been on the channel, um, I've had quite a few tags this week, which is going to be my first sort of topic of conversation. I love doing tags and I'll do tags for anybody. And I usually, you know, I usually do them within a day or two days. Otherwise, my head, I forget. But now I had three this week. So I have another fella has asked me to do a tag for him. And I'll probably get it done near the end of this week. But because... People are complaining. I've done three in a row there, so fair play. Um, I'll listen to the, my to my uh, subscribers. So the other one I've got, and I'll put his name down below, is Mississippi Knife Nut. Again, it's a newish channel. He's only got about 60 subs. And his topic was handled, handled materials that you like, a handled material you don't, and... Oh, sorry. Yeah, handle two handled materials you like, and one that you don't, something like that, anyway. Uh, and his dislike was FRN, hence the selection down here. Um, and I thought, there's a nice way to start. What do people think of FRN handles? Well, I'll start with me. I love FRN handles. There's, there's a couple of reasons why I love F, uh, FRN handles, or plastic handles, 
as I'm now going to call them, because that's all they are. They're just plastic candles. Whether it's on a, a hundred and you know thirty pound bench made um, bug out, it's still plastic. That's all it is. It's just a bit of plastic wrapped around the metal. But I like them because when I buy a knife that has an FRN handle, um, of whatever price, to me it's a knife that I want to use. How do you show that you're answering a tag? Presumably you add a tag in the tags. I have no idea. I just send the person a message normally. I think. <laughs> I am so bad at the... Yes, I need to Instagram, but not nice. How do you show... How do you show... Sorry. How do you show that you're answering a tag? Presumably add a tag to those tags on your video. But what do you actually say? I don't, to be honest. I just put it up because if the person's asked for it and I've seen his video, I know he's one of my subscribers, so he's he's uh, he's going to get it. So far, that's what I do. If anybody else has got an answer to that, please tell me. Can't wait to see you using that razor. <laughs> that is not... Well, it is. It's as sharp as a razor. But just to get back to the FRN, I love FRN handles and... It doesn't matter what price they come in, you know, this is about 80 quid, this is over 100 quid, this is about 10 quid, you know, this is this is less than 10 quid. This one isn't very dear, you know, it's not. But the reason I like them is I'm not afraid to work them. I'm not frightened of scratching them up. I'm not frightened of doing any damage. And that, to me, is the joy of FRN, plus the fact it keeps a nice light. It usually means that it's going to keep the price of the knife down, although bench made, that's plastic. But then so is a griptilian. Now, a griptilian's bigger, and I just, I know they have to get their money back, but I think um, a lot of the companies charge too much for. I'm not a big fan of this one, like G10, my card, if I'm not. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I like these just simply more for the fact that they keep the knife nice and light. Two, it's very hard to damage the FRN. You're not worried about it getting wet or getting oil on it, where you can just clean it off. Um, this is probably the cheapest plastic handle you get. This is one of the Schwarz knives um, from New Zealand. Uh, if you haven't seen one before, it's just a friction knife. And it's one of their, and that just buries in the handle. There's just screws here that tighten this so that it holds it in. But when your hand's here, it's well and truly, you know, sealed down. That won't break. So these you can get to. It's just tool steel on these. Uh, I'm not sure what it is even. But you can get a, an amazing edge on them. I've got an amazing edge on that one. This is just a plastic handle though. Do you know what I mean? So yes, I can go to the fancy ones. One of my most favourite ones is the Delica. I just love the feel of the Delica. It is so well rounded, so well sculptured, and that's why it is the popular knife that it is, in my opinion. Even the smaller, um, the little man bug in FRN, it is so grippy in the hand, it's never going to move. Um, love it, I really do. And Steel Will, there's another new one to the factory. This is another great knife, you know, that for, you know, what is it, about $30, $40 for these. You get D2 steel that's been tested and proved to be good. Uh, I just love them. So, anybody got opinions on FRN? Do they think it's a cheap looking knife? Do they... Um, what is it they don't like about FRN if you don't like? And what is it that you do like? And this, I'm showing this wee knife. This is the wee knife I was working on on the video during the week where I reprofiled the edge of it. It had the terrible grind from Spyderco. And I said that I probably wouldn't even bother finishing it. Let me just get this in picture. For my philosophy, it's going to be the a dollar store knives and key chain knives, but then again. Right, yeah. I mean, a lot of people have that opinion. I put a wee, uh, if you see in the, in the corner of that knife, I put a little choil in it. And I have that. It's actually glinting. And this was just done on the Spyderco, um, the Spyderco Ultrafine. I haven't used on a wee bit of a strop. 
No, I've missed Sunday again. April off skates was new. F or N, I mean. Yeah, that wyvern looks like a beautiful night. Beautiful knife, yeah, it really does look like a lovely knife, and it does look more. I mean, I don't think this looks particularly plasticky, although it is. I mean, I I know it is plastic, but it looks and feels nice. I like the feel of this. And I think that's half the battle. When you hold that um, the delicate in your hand, it's such a smooth knife. Blue colours are Bible. Hello, Bunter247. Hello, happy St. Paddy's Day. Um, yeah, this... This is one of the most comfortable knives, I think, in hand. Absolutely love mine. But I'll tell you, this wee bird knife, which is the Dragonfly copy, um, their bird range, is the cheaper Spyderco range. Look at that grip for a small knife. I, just, I mean, I was talking about this last week. I just love it. I've only had one effort on this Spyderco. I got it pilfered and never replaced it. <laughs> By the way, I've got all my knives around me, so if there's any knives you want to see or any knives you want to talk about, please feel free to ask and I'll I'll bring them out so that we keep the, the conversation sort of growing. Arvinite? Arvintite? Arvinti? Arvinti? Hello! I'm not pronouncing your name. I am so sorry. Um, Aravinti, Aravinti. I hope I've got you right, but welcome to the channel anyway. The yeah, friend, it does look better than what you usually see. It really does. That uh, wyvern is a lovely knife. Paddy, could you please show that? Let me just get this back again. Could you please show that copper knife on the top there? Yeah, I will do actually. I was going to talk about that. I haven't reviewed that yet. It's only just sort of come into my because I only got it this week um this one here and the reason i got it was i wanted something for a daily carry that would go with my copper olight so i thought i would have a wee go at this it's a doctor's knife it's a rough rider would you believe that it's copper bolsters copper pins copper shield it's got uh a covered um what do they call that i don't even know what you call it. i'm going to turn that light down a wee bit it's a bit shiny um it's got a coated um, blade here and it's just a true sharp or there whatever they call it i put a bit of an edge on it but it's got half stop although it's not very you know it's not very strong but it is a half stop it's a long slender knife it's more of a letter opener that's what it's for and that's what i got it to go with that for my edc shots <laughs> it's sad when you're buying stuff to make your edc wants to see the Ganzo F753M on that table. Well, I shall certainly get that out for you and have a wee look. But yeah, that is beautiful. And it's a bone handle. It's really beautifully done. Look at that. Now, bear in mind, this knife is under £20. Now, fit and finish, there's a bit of a gap there. But to be honest with you, you see, for that price, I don't mind it. I actually was a bad boy and tried to squeeze it with a pair of pliers. And because I'm going to use my knives, I'm not, on the cheaper ones, I'm not awful fussy. I just, if it's, you know, it needed closing, so I put the pliers, I should have put a bit of cloth around it or something. But I mean, it's a wee user knife, and that's all it's ever going to be. So, it is a lovely knife, but under £20. Most rough riders are under £20 or $20. In fact, they're much cheaper in America, I believe, getting them from Smoky Mountain Knives, who actually own Rough Rider. Uh, they're made in China, but Smoky Mountain Knives, look at that shield. The quality that goes into that, it's just, what's this, it's oh, the shield upside down. Let me just get that and get it focused. There we are. Always ready, Rough Riders, always ready. But that bone is just gorgeous. It's like a saw cut on the bone. Lovely, lovely little knife. And somebody asked for the Ganzo. It's one of the ones that I have in my box. I have so many Ganzos. That's not it. Where is it? I have so many Ganzos about the place. Well, where is it? Come on, man. Let me see. Am I missing everybody? I wants to see a Ganzo. No. Lemon. Who is there? Somebody Lemon. Hello. <laughs> Somebody Lemon. Hello. Now, would you believe it? I had that there a minute ago and I don't know where it is now. There's another FRN handled one, I think, as well done, which is the Steel Will. Another lovely FRN and lovely rounded over. 
lovely little gentleman's folder with the, the red backspacers. And again, I think they were about $30, $40. Beautiful little knife, D2 steel. Where is that? Oh, there it is. It was in front of his face all along. I think that's the one that you're looking for. Yes. Oh, there it is there. There you go. That's the knife you were looking for. That's the little Ganzo. Beautiful knife. Really nice. The blue accents on the uh, on the, the hardware. A thumb stud. A little axis lock. But I think that blade shape is just stunning. I mean, and that axis lock is absolutely cracking. But, I mean, this really is. This is my posh carry. This is if I'm going to weddings or I'm going to funerals. I'll take that with me. Oh, gosh, sorry. I'd missed all these. Love that copper. Heine Haynes. Yep, Heine Haynes. Super Steel Steve. <laughs> You'll get banned, big lad. <laughs> Just turned in. How do you the very same doctor's knife in hand? Oh. Did you know Smoky Knife Knives owns Russell? Yeah, I did, yeah. I like your doctor's knife. The fit and finish of most of the ones that I've got, I have to say, are... Uh, gosh, I'm sorry, I've missed all these. Yeah, this wee knife is a beautiful knife. This For years I used this as my posh carry. And I've sort of gone past, not gone past it, I've just got different ones I use now. Um, they're not necessarily very high expensive ones. But uh, they are just gone past it. Get some of these put away here. Now out, of the, out of the shop. Now, any other knives you'd like to see? I have another... I have my first custom coming this week. Uh, Rough Rider Trapper. Yeah, let me just see. Rough Rider Trapper. Yes, I have one here. Um, I have my first custom knife coming, and it's a traditional knife. And I'm really looking for it. It should be here this week-ish. Your Around the House knife. Do you want to know? This has turned into be my... around The Buck 55. This has turned into be... Look... That's uh, I must get something to take that off. It's off the brass. Do you know like the the green mouldy stuff you get off the grass? It was on there a wee bit, but it's getting worse and worse. But I think I maybe just need to sand it and repolish it. If anybody has any ideas, let me know. But this is what I tend to use around the house. It's just a handy wee knife. I leave it sitting in my desk and it's there. You'll see it when I do all my filming. But if I want a knife and I haven't got one in my pocket, which I'll have to say would be very, very... Do you know I haven't got one in my pocket? I uh, would be very rare. I was gathering all my knives up for tonight. Um, yes, there's the trapper. This is another just beautiful. The fit and finish on this is immaculate. Absolutely immaculate. And you have the spray blade and then the big clip. And it's a black cherry bone. Let's see, somebody else was, what was that about? Uh, around the house I used to cut stuff. I don't want any other knives cutting it. It's a beat up Civivi black lash. Do you know I haven't got any of the Civivis yet? I have to say, I haven't got a Civivi yet. I think because they're just not readily available over here yet. We're usually a wee bit behind when it comes to things like that. But they look beautiful, and they look they're they're my type of knife. They're a budget knife, but with high end materials. Um, this boy has spent an awful lot of time in my pocket this week. This is my new Benchmade proper. And, oh, I love this knife. If this had a stronger back spring, it would definitely be, a, it would never be away from me. But in saying that, I just love the shape of it. It's so comfortable. Couple of little hot spots that I'll talk about when I'm doing the review, which will be coming this week on this. And it's a really beautiful knife. What do you all use around the house? Do you all have really old beater knives? or, um, I mean, I have knives that I choose. I would look at the sort of big knives that I would choose when I've got a bit of work. There's a knife that I use an awful lot if I've got hard work to go and do. This is the Ganzo copy of the... Well, it's not a copy because it's an axis lock. But it's uh, you know the the shape it's the shape copied of the PM two. That's an absolutely amazing knife. You know for under twenty dollars, um, 
it's 440c what a beautiful knife if you can't afford a pm2 get the ganzo it is the what is this this is the ganzo 729 and if you can't afford a pm2 a lot of us can't there you go there's an absolute you'll not want for a better knife until you can afford one and i think i can remember saying at the time when i was first around saying you know oh i'll not need another one but <laughs> The knife collection really does get to you. Here's another knife. This is this is typical. This was Ganzo doing a cheap copy <coughs> of an already cheap knife. This was, I think it was about £15 when I bought it. And it was about £30 to buy the uh, Rat 1. <laughs> so, I mean, this, but look at the wood on that. That's wooden scales. You know, the, the, soaked wooden scales and and some sort of glue or whatever it's beautiful and again the axis lock oh the axis lock it's just cracking some of these i haven't used for ages and i really need to get them oiled there's a job for this week anybody else anybody else got knives that they use as a as a a beater around the house now what else was i talking about yes new channels i tend to i love finding new channels i don't know whether you're the same so i will probably continue to i can't keep forgetting to do that hello jack farm by how are you sticks hi uh, well origin may be more appropriate than origin may be more i don't know what that is they're uh, going too thin. Oh, I've missed these. Why do I keep doing that? You are having a better conversation than I am. <laughs> How are the grinds and, ga and ganzos? I'm telling you, most of the ganzos I've ever had, and I have had a lot, the grinds have been really good. And they're 440C, so if you want to re-grind them, they're just... BP sixty nine oh they're so easy to to reprofile. Jeff, nice to see you. Just about to order the Olight SR one baton to go with my urban. Yeah, I have an Olight R one baton. I have the brass one or copper one, I should say. Um, absolutely great knife. Absolutely great knife. Um, really good. It's just a a blinder. Can't remember what this is. Is it about five fifty or maybe more a thousand? Uh, but it's a lovely. It's a really lovely. It's a wee bit heavier because it's copper, but I love that. I've got quite a few O lights. Bet your TV is a clone. <laughs> yeah, it probably is. <laughs> uh, did he, did he? Um, there's another one. This is my probably my one of my most used. This is the O light. Um, what this is s30 arbiton 3 um this takes the big 18650 battery lasts forever um there's about five or six different modes on it but a really lovely well made knife like most two lights and this is my little head torch i would use if i'm going out at night it comes with an elastic band type head headset and you just put that on it but a really lovely little knife. it's just a nice little edc knife to be honest with you Although I don't really carry it for EDC. This one I had out with me today. I just threw it in my pocket today when I went out. I was out with the grandkids. It's one of the ones that can go in your cap if you wanted to. Hello Alan, happy St. Patrick's Day. Why is this not going? I love my OLED too. Now, there's a wee knife, Blue Colour Survival. Do you remember sending me that? That is still one of my wee treasures. I love that wee knife. Really do love that wee knife. It's a wee, um, gosh, I can't even remember what the name is on it. Can't remember. What was the name of it? Can you remember? Oh, love it. It's another wee knife that'll come along some days and pick up um, and use. Amplitude, thank you very much. 
lovely little knife. I do like my Kershaws, I have to say. I do like my Kershaws. Let me see, what Kershaws have I got at hand? I got this given to me. Hello Wayne, how are you doing? I got this given to me. Has any ever had a holdout with a serrated edge on it? That thing is lethal. That was in our early years. Wasn't it? It was really, you were just around. It was a lovely, lovely thought gift. It really, really was. Um, and look at you now. You're just about to overtake me, I'm sure. Yeah, I got this holdout. And um, hello, Jason. How are you doing? Just sub Jack Farnboy. Thought I was ready. Just be careful. He's very, very rough. Very, very rough around the edges. <laughs> um, and this is a mean little knife, isn't it? A really mean little knife. Made in Taiwan. I'm not sure. I think it's maybe Oz 8, is it? But, oh, gosh, that's a nasty wee knife to take out. with. If you want to carry a wee knife, um, that is a real little uh, game changer, that. Look how slim that is to go in your pocket. If you can out walking the dog at night, that is the knife for it. I'm really falling in love with my uh, cold steel knives at the minute. I've got three and they're just gorgeous. And I'm looking forward to the summer to get using this one, the Bushcraft one. Um, again, I think this is just Oz 8. Yeah, but I mean, cold steel do such a good job with Oz 8. I put a wee secondary edge on that Scandi. I know that's a lot of people don't like that, but it's just a wee tiny one. Um, really do love this knife. I'm dying to get this out and use it on wood for carving or whatever. Hey, Patio, what do you think of the Enzo with a Scandi, a Scandi grind? Do you know, um, I am thinking of getting the Enzo and I still haven't made up my mind whether I want the Scandi or the full flat. To be honest with you, I'll tell you, City Slickers is the boy to ask. He has both and he loves them. Um, I fancy the full flat grind because it makes it more of an EDC knife. I always think of a, a Scandi grind as something you're just going to use with wood because it just bites in too deeply to anything that, you, even if you're cutting, I don't know, no matter what you cut, it's great for wood and getting through wood, but I don't think it's an EDC knife, which is why I'm looking forward to using this in the summer. And I have other um, I've bushcraft knives that have got the Scandi grinds on them. So I suppose the, the answer is, I've nearly answered my own uh, your question, I think I'm going to go for the full flat ground on the Enzo. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to get it. It'll be a couple of months away. I've got a few knives that I want to get in the meantime. And I'm getting at the end of this month. Well, I've got this custom coming. Now, when I say custom, it's only costing about... Um, I'm saying only. It's costing me under £100 for a custom-made traditional knife. Um, and I'm so looking forward to it coming. Uh, and then at the end of the month, I have to buy, I have to give my friend Jonas in Sweden money for a uh, Griptilian, one of the, the modern ones. Uh, he gave me it at a great price. He had bought it at a good price. And uh, he's selling it to me. He bought two of them, actually. So he's selling one to me. And I'm really looking forward to that. Never had a Griptilian. But the Scandi is so cool. <laughs> the Scandi is cool. I mean, I do love Scandi knives because I was a bushcrafter before I was a knife nut. And I love a Scandi grind. There's just no doubt about it. Hey, old fool. <laughs> oh, well, you're not talking to me. <laughs> uh, if you want to see a beautiful work of ours, check out the Pro Ella. God, I'm going to write that down because I'll never remember that. Pro Ella. Oh, you've gone again. P R. Where is it? P R O E L I A. I will check that out after this tonight. Hey, blue color survey. Oh, that's good. They're, they're introduced. Um. So yes, well, I, I think it was starting to talk about new channels. There, there is a few coming about now, and it's great because sometimes you go through wee troughs, and. Do you mind doing tag videos for new knife channels? Or do you mind other people doing tags? Does it put you off a channel to do too many? Um, See, I've done three this week and a couple of people sort of 
complaining and I know it's my channel but I don't want to push it too far I just love introducing new people and seeing them get subs like that wee fella i done this week he only had 7 subs he now has 70 and that's wonderful he, sent, he made a lovely video tonight just to say thank you but that's a joy seeing somebody get. I, I can remember feeling that buzz when somebody called you out and you got a few subs it was priceless it really was priceless um ah that's the knife I wanted to talk about. I'm going to do rip dye on this knife here. I'm going to dye it blue, the scales. If anybody, I've never done rip dye. Is there any tips anybody could give me that would help me on the way? <laughs> I just love blue. I just, blue is my colour. I'm a real man. Real men love blue, but wear pink. So I've got that one to do and somebody said last week that they had dyed this blue. This is the um, oh, the Rat 2. Somebody said they dyed these scales blue. So watch LTK he just did. Oh definitely Matt thank you. Um, but I was just looking for any wee tips even. Uh, not even sure. I've got the bottle. Hang on. I've got the bottle over here. It is sapphire blue. Oh, very, very modern. Very much sapphire blue. So that's what I'm going to use. I think it will look lovely in this. I hope it goes. It it should go over green. You would have thought. So I'm going to try that and that this week. I know that side's a bit dark there, but the other side should be okay. There's enough light bits I think to get the blue. I found slightly sanding it helped first to take the color. Oh, right. Good. Better than Sunday. <laughs> Cheers, Jeff. By step on how to write day. Very easy, very informative. By step. Um, so that's my little, that's my plan for this week coming. I had sort of planned it for this week, but I haven't, I just haven't got around to it. I have another sharpening video to do this week as well, too, on my Code 4. That Tony Meador wanted me to do, not that I just don't like him anymore now, but he wanted me to do, uh, this is, I'm doing it on the oil stones. Um, so he wanted me to do it this last week. I never got around to it, I was too busy. So I'm going to have to make a real effort and do it this week. I'm dreading doing the Tanto live. I don't mind doing it just myself, but. <laughs> Cheerio, Jack, thanks very much for joining in. Um, Yeah, I'm going to have a go at doing that this week. That should uh, keep me going. That should keep me going. Here's another wee knife. Do you know, I got this from Gearbest a while back and I never done a video on it. And I don't know why, because I found it the other day. Look at that scale. This is by HX Outdoors, who do lovely knives, but isn't that just stunning? I'm just going to take you over to the other side. Look at that. And lovely dark wood handles. With these sort of copper. Look at that how well that is done. Isn't that just beautiful hardware for a wee knife. And there's a wee bit of leather stuck on the end of it. And it comes in a lovely box. And this was about £25. Roderick, hello and very you're very welcome. And anybody, if I miss you and you've, you've wrote something you want to answer. Keep putting it up because I keep watching what I'm doing and forget to look at the things. Um. There's another big one there. Sorry, Paddy, I meant to say LTK video does a step by step. I'll I'll go and have a look at LTK. I have to say I'll go and have a look. Yeah, I must do a review of this on the channel because that blade is just beautiful and it takes a wicked edge. I have to say I have a I have a really wicked edge on that. Um, beautiful little knife though, and for about twenty five quid, I believe it was. I'm not sure what that's called. But you can actually feel can you? you can actually feel the pattern on the scale. Oh you definitely can. So I'll have a wee go at that. I'll do a review on that. Um any other knives do you know we're always doing reviews on new knives? Is there any other knives that, that I you've seen in my channel 
um, that you would like to see a review of. Maybe I've done one quite a while back on it, but you would like to see an up-to-date view on whether I've used it much or, or what it's like. Please ask, because I, I don't mind. It doesn't have to be a new knife all the time. I've done it again. Sandra Moo 7063, great buy, you'll not be sorry. Great buy. Trey, what knife is that? It's beautiful. Are you talking about the little, this one here? It's a wee H, HX Outdoors make. It is just stunning. I mean, you know, it's a liner lock. It's, it's lovely engagement. Sturdy little knife. There's no movement in it whatsoever. And it was about £25. And it's got lost in the in the work somewhere. I must go back and find out more about it. But a lovely knife. I'll maybe do a review of that this week. If you are interested. Oh, I might try and get a... The Para 3 is coming out in FRN. Does anybody know when it's coming out? I really fancy that. That sounds like a cool knife. Would like to see your dad's blade there on the table now. There we go. This is this is the knife that I, I bought for me and to remind me of my dad. And I I can it's the hinder slippy. <sighs> Let me tell you, I, it's just unbelievable. Is it worth the money I paid for it? Um, yeah. Sorry, I've changed again. Yes, it is. It's just beautiful. And that's, that's his, and then this is another physical, this was his wee knife that I found in this desk, when I got this desk, which was about five years after he died, I found this stuck with glue up in the back of my wee desk here. So that was his wee knife, and it's the only knife I've got of his. He wasn't a great knife man, but he liked a wee pen knife, or he liked a wee multi-tool. I got a pre-order, and I'm waiting as far as any, nobody knows when the Para 3 lightweight's coming. I just think the Para 3 in the FRN, FRN scales is a match winner. I, I just think it might even kill off the Para 2. It just looks amazing. Because the Para 2, I mean, I love my Para 2. It is, um, I was given this by the knife beater. It had the black scales on it. Uh, and I just changed it to the aluminium. The Para 3 is a beautiful, beautiful knife. But it is quite big for, I think it's big for an everyday carry. It's good if you're a worker and you're going out to work every day, whereas I don't anymore. Where did you get the green aluminium scales? Um, Troy, I got these from a company over here in um, in Wales, but Flytanium, that's who makes them. So I believe Flytanium is in America. If I'm right, maybe somebody can let me know. But if not, I can, I can get, send you the details, Troy, but I'm sure Flytanium is an American company. But they cost me about fifty pounds, so they'll be under. I'm sure they cost you about under fifty dollars. Um, we get hammered here. The the aluminium scales just make for me the 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 scales on the uh, the PM two were always very rough. There was a lot of hot spots where it was just they weren't rounded or that they weren't. Yes, you're gripped and then you were never going to move, but it was a wee bit too harsh. That just took it away. First day I put them on, I thought never go back. Absolutely love it, and I like that green. I do like that green, saying that they didn't have blue, or they probably would have been blue, which is a good thing because I need to sort my colours out. Um, I do like coloured knives. There's another one. This is, I, I'm telling you, this is my mate's knife. This is Blue Colour Survival sent me this knife, and I love it. And this is a, a buck, what do they call this? I don't even know what to call it. I, I'm, I did know, but I've no, it's... Um, I love this knife. It's a 440, um, 440. Is it the 420 high carbon? Just a lovely little knife. And you know, it holds an edge for a fair amount of time. It takes a screaming edge too. Lovely little knife. Yes, I need to get my colours. Um, I need more coloured knives. 284 Bantam. You are so quick. <laughs> I'm terrible. I have a box of knives there and I ain't going to never... My wife just laughed at me. I don't know what she said there. What did I say that made you laugh? You need more coloured knives. <laughs> She's laughing at the fact that I need more coloured knives. She just doesn't understand. 
doesn't understand me at all. I need more wool <laughs> and material. <laughs> yeah, you should see the handbags that my wife has. Who's the maker of the orange knife? That's a buck knife. It's a buck bantam. Absolutely beautiful. I don't like the para. I agree, blue. I don't like the para three. Oh, right. Yes, blue's lovely, but I do like the para three. Uh, well, I'm saying I do like the para three. I fancy the para three in FRN. I wouldn't buy it in um just a normal cover because we've got the PM two, and I don't believe I need I need it in that, but I will take it in the FRN more for the channel than for me, of course. <laughs> We need more knives, period. We do, John. You're dead right. If my wife just but knew, you tell him. Sorry, don't you stick up for her, Mr. Old Fool. <laughs> um, no, uh, I'll throw me there, you see. Do you think you get the wife some wool? I was, I offered to buy her a sheep and then she could just take it off as she needs it. But no, that wasn't good enough. I don't have a backlash. Is that more of these wee type knives? Yeah, I, I remember the names wee. Hello Rick, how are you? Um, yes, them wee knives, they definitely seem to be the... What's the back one? Um, they definitely seem to be very popular. Very proper. I'm sure they'll get there. I'll just leave that there because I, that, that is just... That's, that's my wee dream. I do agree with the wife that more colour would be nice in the knife. <laughs> I could if I could just get her to buy me them now, that would be that would be the good thing. Hello, she is good. She did she does buy me at Christmas, she gets me a wee knife or my birthday, so it's always good to have a hiding place for a few extra knives so the wives don't know everything. Plains Crofter, don't say that, she's behind me. She's she's seeing and watching everything that's going on here. I would never hide knives on my wife. Well, not on drawers that are sort of ones that I know she won't go. There might be the odd one or two, but that would be it. Um, <laughs> yeah. Does anybody else, uh, or do you all have understanding wives, or is there ever bickering between yourselves and your wives over knives, or am I just lucky? <laughs> She's patting my back here. I said the right thing now, you see. But I am, I mean, I'm genuinely lucky. My wife, as long as she's got food and the kid, you know, we're not going to starve, she doesn't really mind. She lets me plod on there. I get my pocket money every week. And now I got my pension of even more pocket money, which is great. I have no wives but many knives. Sticks, you are a wise man. <laughs> as Justin just said, yeah, your wife's pretty supportive too. Yeah, she is. I've seen your wife on the channel, or I've, I've heard you talk about your wife a lot on the channel. Um, yeah, I'm lucky, I have to say. My wife's the best. She always tells me to buy knives. Say hi to Lisa. Lisa, you are a little angel. That man was very, very lucky. I hope you let him know how lucky he is. <laughs> it was the sound of your wife. Yes, it was the sound of my wife beating me, yeah. <laughs> she does slap me every now and then just to make sure I know that she's there. Knives over wives. <laughs> You're brave. <laughs> I'm not that brave. You know, I never find the name of the put up with me. Uh, well, there we go. <laughs> so my wife's just heading into bed with the dogs. They're going into bed there. And um, we've got a new wee dog. I must do pictures. I must show wee pictures of the new dog. <laughs> Sorry, I'm saying my knife like my hobby. Yeah, look, do you want to know something? I'm one of these people that, um, do you want to know something? Paul, I've just, my wife just made me a lovely cup of tea there. Not Yorkshire tea, though, good Irish Nambari tea. That's all I ever drink. When we go on holiday, I take Nambari tea with me. Or if we're going to stay with somebody, I take Nambari tea with me. Love it. Yes, during my life, I've tended to go in and out of hobbies. And when I go into something, I go into it. 100% it's all or nothing when I was bushcrafting I had to have all the gear and I had to have multiples of it and I had bug out bags everywhere I was never going to see a nuclear disaster but I had everything for it <laughs> but I mean I've still got a shed full of stuff there and if I could find somebody to buy it over here I would sell it to them 
She doesn't buy me that many, let me tell you. Right, what else can I get to show you? Because he's there. Let's see. Anybody got something? Oh, what else did I have to talk about? I wrote a wee list down here. Did I talk to, I talked about new channels, yes. That Mississippi knife nut. I'm going to put his details down below tonight. So pop over and give his channel a wee look because I'm not going to get to do his video to probably the end of next week. And he's got a, an open tag video out, which is a nice one. Go over and give him a wee shout out. Seems like a really nice fella. Well, he can't be, he's maybe not that nice. He likes Super Steel Steve. So he's probably not that nice. Do you know what I mean? Bless wee Steve. God love him. Oh my gosh. Can I write her knife? As long as they're not in your back, Justin, I like a knife. As long as it's not in my back. Oh, Mississippi Knife Nut. Hello there. There he is on the channel. How are you doing? It's nice to see you. Yes, I was just saying, I'll probably not get to do your video till the end of the week. So I'm just asking the boys to go over and give you a wee sub. If they like you. <laughs> Um, now, how long's too long and how long's enough on a live feed? Any uh, Anybody got any ideas on that? I think an hour is probably about long enough. Is anybody... My fiancé makes me buy her makeup worth off. Let me tell you, my wee wife loves bags. That's her thing. But she hates shopping for clothes. Um, which is just a blessing that I count every day. She's not a great shopper. Little bit if he if he's in the super safe. Look, yeah, I, I mean you have to be careful now when you go over, just be careful. Anybody like Super Steel Steve, you know. I mean he's a nice fella and all that. Just mentally not all there, you know. Bless him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was Steve's the other day, I was it was about four hours long or something. I don't have that much talk in me four hours. Who could talk for four hours? <laughs> I'm all the way off, brother. <laughs> hey, Paddy, where do you buy your Rough Rider knives? Um, you do know that I live in the UK, so I get mine from Heine Haynes. What's it? There's another couple of the ones. A couple of the Bushcraft stores do some, but mostly Heine Haynes. Um, the nice thing about Heine Haynes, that if I remember and you put, would you check the knife? Um, he'll check the knife before he sends it to you. But most, an awful lot of the times I forget. But Rough Rider, you know, for all they are, I don't mind if I get the odd one that's not great. I really don't, because the, the amount that I've got of, of good ones, I'm going to stick some more out here. Here's here's a couple that I've got reviews coming up on. This one here is probably one of my nicest knives. How's that sound? Look at that. It's buckshot on white bone with red liners. Right, red liners. Look at that teardrop pattern, quite thick across the back. Look at the fit and finish on that. And you see the hold in hand, that is beautiful. The only downside is that acid edge to do on there with an aim. But for under 20, you know, twenty dollars under twenty dollars for you Americans, but it's about twenty quid for us. Um I just think it's an absolutely amazing knife. Um again, fit and finish on this. This is the wee mini cotton sampler. Look at this. Look at that bone on it. This is their brown um, brown stag bone, they call it. And it is just stunning. And again, the fit and finish on this. Look, nearly every case knife I've ordered, I've had to send back. Honestly, because the, the fit and finish has been terrible on them. I've got one that I was given as a gift, which is perfect. And I love it. It's a wee mini trapper. Love it, but that there is just gorgeous. I mean, that was like twelve pound or something. Do -do -do. Put them down there just for your looking. I ordered the teardrop pattern in the copper today. Yeah, that looks good. Now, I have to say, is it this the same copper as this one here? That sort of one. <laughs> oh, Stephen, are they picking on you? Stop picking on Super Steve, Steve. Leave him alone, the poor man. Gosh, we're only joking, the poor wee man. 
He'll go home crying and tell on us, let me tell you, and then he'll get in trouble. His wife will be around the door. Rough Rider Nice, who was that? That was uh, Wapatucci. Um, the Rough Rider Nice, I love them. I really do. And they're a great way of filling out patterns. You know, I have good ones. You know, I have good knives. Not not a whole lot of good ones, but I have like a GEC. And that is, you know, I mean, that, that's my one of my favourite knives, the single blade. Absolutely beautiful. But in saying that, the Rough Riders fill in patterns that I don't have. The proper, you know, not the proper, the more expensive ones. Uh, of course not, just everyone who watches your videos. <laughs> oh dear, bless him. Where would this world be without Super Steel Steve? Who would do the testing that that man does? And he does do some great testing. And if you're not a sub to his channel, go over, have a wee look at it. Make sure that you're not... Uh, you're not worried too much. He, he does say the odd swear word, but we're trying to get him out of it. That's my goal in life is to get Super Steel Steve to become good living and stop swearing. <laughs> but he does amazing testing. He really is. I, I enjoy his testing and it has helped me choose knives because of his testing. So that's a great, uh, all joking aside, really is good. Did you see my, my comment about talking to the Irish lady on St. Patrick's Day? Did I see you? I'm not sure. <laughs> Over here, there's just thousands of jokes and I've seen so many. But go ahead. Who was the woman you were talking about on the Irish party on St. Paddy's Day? Well, oh, he's going to go back. I'm waiting for Troy. He'd asked me, he'd sent a joke or something. And I've seen, I've seen and heard that many. Uh, it's a language that keeps me away. Can't watch it at work. The testing is quality. <laughs> I agree with you. I have to keep my grandchildren out of the, the woods. Super sticky. Your sharpening videos inspired me. Like, you know, gosh, my sharpening videos are really rough, aren't they, though? They really are. And I'm hoping they're going to get better. I mean, I love Jeff Jewell, as you know. I mean, he is my, he, from the beginning, I found his channel. Uh, from the very beginning. And I watched him before he even had a channel. And I just love his, his attitude to sharpening and knives. And he, I mean, like you, Steve, he just does so much for the community that people don't even hear of. Um, he, he is the most tolerant man. You can ask him questions after questions and you can ask him the same questions and he'll keep giving you a full answer. He'll not abbreviate his answer and, and cut you short. He just is a really, really genuine nice man like yourself. <laughs> buy some headphones <laughs> are you getting stick tonight son couldn't happen to an Asher fella <laughs> Jeff is great yeah Jeff is he's just a real genuine fella and his knife collection did anybody see Jeff Jewell's knife collection what an array of knives that you don't see on YouTube I thoroughly enjoyed it he really had knives there that you you really because we all tend to get the same sort of knife his was completely different. Well, just just say it was good to talk. Irish party on the Saturday. Yeah, I'd never seen. I'd never seen Dalton's before. I still haven't. He's the only person I've ever seen with a Dalton, um, and I think they're beautiful. The red and blue Dalton are stunning looking knives. Really like them. A good St. Paddy Bay's movie is The Guards with Brenton Gleeson. You know, I don't think I'm not a great movie watcher to be honest. Me or the wife are not movie. We don't sit and watch movies at all. Um, we would tend to be documentaries and um, you know, like uh, police and ambulance. Uh, the their live uh, cameras out with the crews. We love that sort of thing. That would be our biggest watch. Or wildlife. I do love my wildlife and a bit of sport. A bit, I'm a I'm a great rugby fan. I'm a rugby fanatic. I, I follow Ulster, uh, in rugby. And the Six Nations has been on this last few weeks, and Ireland didn't win. They played atrociously, um, and we finally lost out. If we'd have won the match on Sunday, we would have won the Six Nations, but we got stuffed by Wales. So anybody in Wales, there, congratulations! You were deserved winners on the day. A great, uh, great game of rugby for the Welsh. 
So uh, and the Scottish bless the Scottish from the last day they actually drew with England, which was a great result for them too. Um, it really did uh, surprise me, I have to say. Oh, that tea is beautiful. Now, I'm thinking of what else that I've got here to show you. You know, I've nothing really much. I've nothing much more. I showed you last week uh, the new stuff I've got. Do you know, I've done hardly any reviewing this week. It's been sort of catching up and just doing other videos. So hopefully this week I'll get some videos in. Rugby is rough. Let me tell you, I played in the Navy. I played, uh, obviously, when I was on ships. And we played um, American football against a college team. When I can't remember where we were now. I think, uh, were we down in Florida somewhere? We played against this college team, uh, a game of American football. And they played us a game of rugby. They weren't allowed to use any um, pads when they played rugby. And we had to use the gear, obviously, when you're playing American football. And I'm saying obviously because beforehand I would have said they're wimps, why are they wearing helmets and all that padding? Well, let me tell you, I came off there more bruised than I ever done on a rugby. They try to break your knees. If anybody's never played American rugby, they come at you with them helmets on and they're heading to snap your knees. Although I think they went easy on us, but by gosh, did I get hit hard. Uh, physical rugby is physical, there's no doubt about it, and you've nothing to stop you, which is why we get a lot of broken fingers, bones noses face you know ears cauliflower ears everything's just open to the elements but american football was a hard game to play i have to say i had a new respect for it after i played it but yes rugby is a rough game i'm suffering for it now i'm 60 and i'm really suffering my knees my fingers are all suffering um from breaks and just oh, all sorts do, do, do. Anybody else into any other sports that uh, we don't know about? Any secret uh, ex-football players or? My goodness, you've all gone quiet. Where are you all? Been drinking cardamom tea. MK64. I didn't realise you were a hippie. Is that my goodness? Cardamom tea. No. I'm sorry, I'm not into these fancy teas. <laughs> sorry, I was being sarcastic there, but in a funny way. I was just, uh, no, I, I have tried some of them teas and they're absolutely disgusting. I've never found anything that's anywhere near nice. When I was in third grade, I played soccer, but that's it. Yeah, well, I, I played football up until I was about 18. Um, and then I, then I started playing rugby. Um, and then... On the ships, I would have played in the football teams, but I played goalkeeper, so um, I was quite a violent goalkeeper, though, I have to say. <laughs> when I came out to get a ball, it was usually the man, then the ball, which is a good way of putting people off coming in close. I reached 215 in the UK, Sabre, well, that's blooming good, 215! That is absolutely a cracking. That's a sport if there ever was one. I'm not sure what we're talking about there. Was that sabre fencing? I spent all my time the water swam with a water polo. Got one week off a year. Water? No, I've, I I love swimming. I but I don't like swimming in a pool. I would swim in the sea any day of the week. I'll wrestle a gator. <laughs> oh man. You would remind me of a gator wrestler, Justin. You have that look of a gator wrestler. Persian co-workers. <laughs> Hockey, there's another rough game. I remember it was a uh, ship was in Gibraltar and we had a, a there's a naval base, a naval base, a British naval base in Gibraltar. And we played against the Rens, which is the women's navy. And we played hockey against them. Well, none of us played hockey. None of us. We got hammered. My fingers, my knees, my shins got hammered by these girls. They run us into the ground. Rough game. Although when you say hockey, you usually mean ice hockey, don't you? Or do you mean just sort of 
hockey with a ball on a cinder court. That ice, that ice hockey does look a bit rough, but it doesn't. There's that much padding. It surely can't be that bad. Let me know, cause I really don't know. I went to watch ice hockey up in Belfast. Here we have a a team now that's quite doing quite well in the UK, and uh, I have to say I was bored silly. There was too many stops. It just kept stopping and people changing, so I didn't get into it. So you can crack in. <laughs> yeah, you go ahead. You use cracking. Yeah, I watched the ice hockey live and uh, I have to say it just kept stop and start and stop and I just couldn't get into it. I had grandchildren with me and they were bored after 10 minutes to be honest. My wife has a season ticket to the ice hockey. Tennis ships. Um, all my ships were frigates from old Leander class frigates up to type 21. They're all scrapped now. I came out of the Navy 30 years ago. I've just as I was just talking about last week, I just received my pension. So um uh, it was all frigates, which are small um small ships. Hockey is my favourite. Oh, there's quite a few of your hockey players. Uh, Canadians are great hockey too. They're they're great um hockey players. Cheerio, my man, nice to speak to you. You take care. Not much nice talk with you boys. <laughs> I think I started the sport one, didn't I? Right. Let's start putting some of these wee babies away to their bed. It's just over an hour now, folks. And uh, if you would like me to keep going, I certainly have no problem keeping going. Um, but if we've enjoyed this as much as I have, I mean, I really have enjoyed it. Thank you so much. I feel a wee bit more at ease this week sitting in front of the live camera so hopefully that will get a wee bit better because I watch these other channels and they're very um have they ever used owned a Microtech auto no um autos uh, the mic the autos are just completely banned over here so I haven't invested that sort of money in a Microtech auto for something that I would just use in the house because I wouldn't risk taking out Jason you're a big fan of the Ganzo and see it's nice me too and some of the the newest See, it's knives. That work knife that I had. Where is that work knife? That was one of the best knives I've had in a long time. Where is it? It's not, I can't find it now. I'll find it the next time we're on. No, can't find it. It's in here somewhere. No. It's gone. Somebody's nicked it. No, I'll get it for you next time. But yes, the see its knives are great knives at the minute. Dee -dee -ding. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Anybody, any questions, final questions before I head on? Rupert, yes, I can't wait for the FH-51 because it looks like a smaller knife. And I love the, the, the smaller knives that Ganzo make. I just wish they would do it more often. The under three inch or just under three inch knives. Shortcut reviews, really nice to see you. You guys who are not a pension have a good week at work. <laughs> Where do you find a woman that likes knives? In my bedroom, I'm just going to see her now. <laughs> Cheerio, Mississippi, nice, not nice to see you here. Justin, thank you very much indeed for coming along. Jason, thank you. And Rip, oh, too right. Still, uh, yes. If it's 21, I just love mine. Um, absolutely love it. One of the best Ganzo has ever produced. Love that knife. Love the blade shape. Everything about it. Love everything about it. Okay, thank you so much. Um, that's very kind of you. Thank you very much. I can't pronounce your name. Maybe if you could send me a wee text and do it phonetically how I pronounce your name because I don't want to... Waptucci? Waptucci? I'm not sure. Would you send me a wee text how to do it? Oh, well, uh, better defend. <laughs> okay, happy St. Patrick's Day to you too. Have a good... Thank you very much, Justin, for coming along. Really, thank you for the input. I appreciate it. So, good night, everybody. Have a great week. Jason, thank you very much, and the same to you. Menace with Knives, not a problem. Thank you very much for joining in. Ashcan, thank you very much. Adios. 
Sticks, cheers, have a good one. Night, night, old man. <laughs> good night, Jesse Norman. Oh, yeah, the hell you said. Good night. <laughs> night, uh, Rupert, take care. Night, Rick. Slight tech too late. <laughs> good night, my friend. We're an hour earlier this week. Did you forget? Good night, John. All the very best. Sticks, I'm just going to enjoy my wee cup of tea and then I'm off to bed. Troy, was that you away as well? Take care. Thanks, Troy. Now, I'm going to switch this off when I find out. I can't remember. Just got in. How are you, Tony? I'll say hello. How are you? I hope you're well. It was a nice wee discussion, Tony, but it's sort of an hour, I think, is long enough because you could go on there for... I'll end up like that uh, Super Seals to even go for four hours or something. I'll not get up tomorrow. I need my bed now anyway. Take care, everyone. I'm away. I forgot.